Hills. Yeah, when it comes to iconic LA neighborhoods, Laurel Canyon is about as cool as it gets. But is it possible for you to enjoy the hideout of musicians if you don't have a Grammy or a trust fund? Two very cool people who live there. Help me answer that question. Laurel Canyon is iconic, a mysterious, funky road that was home to some of the most influential creators of the 20th century. The Laurel Canyon became this heavenly place. To be that close to the Sunset Strip, and yet you had a feel that you were in the country, it's beautiful. Joni Mitchell, David Crosby, the Mamas and the Papas, the Beach Boys, you name it. Having been here a long time, I do think that there is some magic in the canyons. Dave Way is a record producer and engineer who lives up here among the trees and his very cool toys. He also helped create the Laurel Canyon documentary, Echo in the Canyon, so he's sort of an expert. The thing that attracted the musicians in the 60s was that it was cheap. Do your, you know, night gigs and have your days open to hang out and write songs. Ben Folds, Smashing Pumpkins, David and Lord David Lee Roth. Howie Weinberg is a legendary mastering engineer who has put finishing touches on more than 10,000 tracks, including this. This and this song. How he left New York years ago to live and set up shop in an old hunting lodge. A whole new wave of artists living here and, and producers and, and engineers and writers. They're doing the second or third wave of Laurel Canyon. They'll probably start at Laurel Canyon Country Store. It's been around for a hundred years. By the time the artists took over, it became the jump off spot for collaboration, immortalized by Jim Morrison in the Doors song, Love Street. There's the store where the creatures meet. That is not the best Doors song, by the way, but the creatures are still meeting here for coffee, to talk shop, and more. It's a pretty small community still. They're all in the, you know, behind the trees, <laughs> waiting for you to ask questions Ooh. about, you know, Brian Wilson, yeah. Downstairs, another LA legend, Pache. The restaurant has been tucked in the basement here since 1999, and nobody stays open for this long without great food, and wow, it is so good. Pizza with ciabatta crust, the flakiest lasagna ever, love the linguine with clams, and perhaps the best grilled salmon in the city. So good. And one of the more fun ways to see the canyon, just drive through it. Beautiful area. I mean, this is, how you doing? It's my neighbor. <laughs> the Jackson Brown house is up there. The Joni Mitchell house, the um, Stephen Stills house is around the corner. Nothing like open air, windows down, rooftop off, looking at all the cool houses where magic was made and continues to be made. When you get up to Mulholland, there is a ton of hiking all around the area. And on the south end of the canyon, by you, Pedro, the legendary yeah. Stall House is actually open for tours. You get great <gasps> views of the city, and you can experience mid-century L.A. For more weekend adventures, you can follow me on Instagram at AndyKTLA. I love that. Stall Thanks. House is worth checking out. Very cool. Very.